Hello, my name is Sakari Lehtinen. Welcome to Templates Trimming. In this tutorial, you will learn how to automate monad trimming or cleaning with simple pin templates and how these templates are applied to your IFC data. Trimming is a very powerful feature in SimplePIM. It enables you to easily clean up the model from extra objects and properties. This will not only reduce the file size, but also make the data more reliable. Any unnecessary data will confuse the receiver and potentially produce unnecessary problems. The trimming rules are set in the model view tab of the template. Open a template either by creating a new one, copying an existing one, or if you have already created a training template, click to edit it in Excel. You can create three different kinds of trimming rules here. First of all, there's rules for including or excluding object classes from the model. Now that you can find the object class names to use here from the object palette or some sample templates. I set a rule for including only walls for now. Note that the rules are run in order. So when I first exclude all the objects with the special keyword all and then include only walls, all that is left to the model are wall objects. Second thing you can do is to include or exclude instances of objects. This is done with the help of properties. I will set a rule to exclude all the internal walls since I know the construction type for my internal walls begin with the INT prefix, I use that one in my rule. All my external walls have EXT prefix, so they are not affected. First, set the property you want to use to find your wall instances. Note that the property names or keys can be found from the properties palette you can even copy them so that you can be sure that you don't misspell them. Now set the type for your property. Uh, you can actually only use text properties for now. Set operator for the search rule. All your options can be found from the dropdown list. The basic operator is of course eagles, but we use the start with operator in our example. For value I set int. Note here that you can set if the search is done based on a case-sensitive or non-case-sensitive rule. If you choose no, then it doesn't matter whether the construction types or their values in the model are written with upper or lower case letters. If you choose yes, the values need to match exactly. Okay, that's done. The third trimming option is to include or exclude properties. Again, the rules are run in order and I can use this special trick in the beginning to ease my work. So first I say exclude all the properties for all the opposite classes. And then I only need to say what I want to include. In this case, the construction type for the wall objects. Okay, I think we are ready to test the template. We'll come back to the set object colors and transparency section in later tutorials. For now, let's save the template, open a model in SimplePIM and run the template to it. In the trimmer workspace, it's easy to see what happened. All the other object classes than walls were automatically excluded from the model. If you check the wall properties, you see that only the construction type is included. All the other, the gray properties, will be excluded when we do the final export back to IFC. The effect of our template is even more obvious in the export preview workspace. Note that you can combine any other template features to the trimming rules we set here. For example, the validation rules or model edits. We will look into them in more details in the dedicated movies. For now, thank you for watching and see you next time.